It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Pats and the Jets. And it's all just ahead on... closer toward the midway point of this NFL season and we're underway on EA Sports taking it about the one and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line we get our first look at this New York Jets offense really retooled the last couple of seasons and at the helm under center second overall pick from 2021 out of BYU Zach Wilson First play, Wilson wants to throw it. Throw left side, complete. That's Carter. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw complete there to Barrios. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been here in the match with next man up since their Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect to use, and everyone has adopted them. Next guy up, do your best. To throw is Wilson. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Patriots are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions, can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. So third and two. This quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. Now Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got some turnover. We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Smith catches left side. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down for the touchdown. Uh -huh. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. This complete left side to Aguilar. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Stevenson. It's going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. Back at the five-yard line now. Second and goal. Throwing Jones. And he can't find a receiver. 
receiver, and he's blocked in. Like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Here's Wilson. Being chased, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. It's taken to the 26. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Patriots take over. An update from around the league as our first one comes from New Orleans. So first and 10 now from the 30. And it's an early lead there for the Saints. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. Up from his safety spot to charge in and make the play, Landon Collins. They keep you updated on that as well as others as we move toward the midway point. Hard to believe we're already there in this NFL season. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And out across midfield down to the 45. 27 yards there, a first down. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Jones throwing on first down. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. They'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 30. 12 yards there as they move the chains. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten, to about the 26 here. And the Patriots at six and one now through seven weeks of the season. And they've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And I thought they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Now right to board. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And the Jets are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe hit them on those short passes. And get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Play action. Now Wilson. A throw to the flat for Carter. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Throwing is Wilson. That pass complete to Moore. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Operating from the gun, Jones. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. C.D., I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball, but remember. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they went standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Some more great football coming your way in prime time to wrap up the month of October. It starts tonight. Could it be a Super Bowl preview? The Packers and Bills from Buffalo at 820 Eastern. And then tomorrow, Halloween night, Monday night football, the Bengals and Browns from Cleveland. And how this game has changed in importance in recent years. That starts at 815 Eastern. To throw on second and ten, Wilson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Going right back to Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's a Patriot sack. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Wilson's throw here into the hands of Moore. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. On third down, Wilson. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, the dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Kendrick Bourne as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots will extend their lead here just before halftime. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. Jets, nothing. nothing. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Jets going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now Wilson. He's going to look deep for more. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jalen Mills. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it or you start thinking about going to his backup. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here are the Patriots to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and ten. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. And with a guy his size, you have to know defensively that arm tackles aren't going to fly with him. You have to be able to wrap up, or else he can just brush tacklers aside like they're not even there. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They'll roll him out right. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. He's after a ride. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that just where he needed to be. He did not get away. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. The Patriots send out their punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. He'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy, the other team's going to be unhappy. So, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, that's you, partner. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Carter once more. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. That's exactly what they were aiming for defensively. A huge early play that cuts off any opposing momentum at the knees. As soon as that snap was made, they were flying to the ball and through the line. Great call from the coaching staff, and even better execution. New England's offense set to go. Jones in the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll get this out in a hurry to Parker. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. From the 29, Jones flushed out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Carl Lawson able to record his fifth sack of the season. The Patriots send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And here comes Berrios. He belted that thing, a leg of steel and an even 70 yards on the punt that time. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Now Carter to start the drive. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. There's 
Wilson to throw. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one's going to fall incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Boy, can you believe this? That one probably should have been picked, too. Instead, it's fourth down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. New England trying to get the place on offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Here's Jones. Off the bootleg. Sliding out of the pocket. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Running left is Stevenson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. the play fake Jones and at the seven yard line the catch is made and they will eventually get him down but he's inside the five all the way to the three here's Stevenson and they'll be driven back here losing yardage to the nine and a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Again, Stevenson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson. His first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. But now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this... Let's just say it's been unusual. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. 
Back now here at MetLife Stadium. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. From the 40 now on second down, Wilson to the right side and he's got more complete. So eight yards on the completion there. Make it third down and less than a yard. Now it's Wilson. Got an open man, that's C.J. Uzama. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 42. Here's Wilson. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Looking sideline, and he's going to have his man as he was able to walk the tight rope there for the completion. Wilson on the hook up to Davis, first down Jets. Operating from the gun, Wilson buying ten, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Christian Barmore gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, ready, ready. and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. You got the big lead defensively. Really be giving that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on down. The Pats at the line ready to go. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where would be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world up to the challenge. New England on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and seven. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 20. Wilson. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Here's Wilson. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. 
That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And that is incomplete. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. To throw is Wilson. Open man is Uzama. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third and one, Wilson. And able to connect with Barrios. And he is going to have the Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To throw again, it's Wilson. There's a short one caught by Uzama. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Third and two, now Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. On first and 10, it's Wilson. That pass complete to Moore. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Zerline connects on the extra point. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this fielded right at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The 40. 20. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit, but for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. For the winning side, Charles, all that was missing was a shutout, just giving up the seven points, that's it, but really an incredible game from this defense, a very well-earned victory as a result. Definitely won. DJ Mosky, let's get it. Let's get it. We the champions here in Los Angeles. We doing numbers. Bring your own victory straight out the hurdle. I met the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. Call the promotion. I just put up in the same house. I do it still. Last minute, I'ma need me some. Call up Khalid. Bring the in the. Keep it juicy for we start getting unruly. I've been 